Hey, what's going on, guys? Undergrabber here today, and welcome back to our um, Riders of Rohan campaign. And so, I'm a few changes are going to be made right now. So, in a moment, I'm going to probably skip ten turns. You guys, it'll, it'll be a moment for you guys, but it won't be a moment for me. It'll be quite a while for me. Basically, what like it's just gonna t this episode. Otherwise, would just be a whole lot of waiting for these reinforcements because I'm not going to do anything interesting. I'll turn it back on if there's anything interesting yes, happens, but I don't really think it will. Yes. So I'm probably going to skip those 10 turns. I just wanted to explain that. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so... Yeah. I... Okay, this is interesting. Great. Nah, this is not going to be fun. Okay, so, yeah, that happened. Uh, hopefully I'm recording. Still, um, and yeah, we can... Yeah. Not excited about that. Not excited. I've actually preemptively began... Began, uh, building a new army back here, and I'm glad I did. Because I'm gonna need it. Well, I was... The reason I was building preemptive, preemptively back here was because... It seems like I'm always sending men and... Yeah. The army is only back here right now. We're sending him to Hero Thane. But yeah, this is probably a good idea because it'll draw off a bunch of Mordor armies. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, got Mordor lost a battle over here, so that's why they have less troops. So I'm thinking about attacking them. But yeah. Mm, not so much anymore. I'm going to build up this army, but I think the plan remains the same. It's just that we're just going to have to defend our capital. That's all. From little insurrectionists. And such. I've been building... Oh, eh! Okay, I thought I hit end turn. Yeah, I'm not making so much money anymore because I've just been building so much. But it's fine. I think the plan remains the same, but this is a very interesting opportunity we have here because we have weakened units and we have the potential to kill two Nazgul and a bunch of men. With Theoden's army, I don't know whether I want to do that or not yet. I think I might want to wait till those reinforcements come in a few turns, if I'm perfectly honest. We had uh, Nazgul go back over here as well, so yeah, that happened. But yeah, the invasion. Joy. Oh, rapture. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna defend Edoras with everything I can. Yeah, I'm going to let it happen. As I said in previous episodes, Edoras is one of those uh, factions that I will fight. Like, one of those cities which I will fight to keep since it's my capital. Just want to quickly check to see if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay. Sorry. Okay, blackout for a second. Because we're going to be seeing black because I don't know. Okay, I just didn't trust myself. Wanted to be sure I caught that. Because I didn't want to surprise anyone. Oh, it's time to uh, switch. Uh, yeah, okay, so the reason for that is because I'm actually uh, lying down at the moment on my bed. Because uh, I uh, kind of, not really, sp I twisted my ankle the other days. So it's just hard. I just have to put ice on it. That's all. It's nothing major. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, enough about my life. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. We're back. Woodland. Yeah, and all the other factions are starting to hate me for some reason. Like, you saw Lothlorien hating me. Not completely sure why. Ooh. ooh. Excellent. If that army will just go away, then we could totally take it. Like those settlements. No? I'm not adopting you. Yeah, I've just been building all over the place. Edorossian swordsman. So yeah, that, that's all we're going to be doing. We're just going to be dealing with this invasion. Building a new army. Probably we'll try to find a general from somewhere. 
You. Yes. Ma'am. You're in charge of this army now. How is Isengard doing, by the way? Culture wise. Yeah. Nice. It's re really, if you think about it, all I have to do is defend up here. Huh. No, I can't. I was just saying, because if they have a ship, could I not then potentially recruit a mer- I have a fishing village there. Let's lower the taxes here. Because I could potentially get a port to, like, protect this area. I didn't- com I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it should totally be feasible. My lord. As you right, will, so lord. you're here now. We have our army. I think we're going to send it down over here. We're going to send this army probably... We're going to send two armies against this. Because I want to take out that invasion army. Before it causes problems. I mean, I don't think it'll cause too many problems, but... I want enough men to also take these settlements. What else have I built? Uh, did I build it? No, I already built the men there. Oh, wrong building. Ah, I can build more. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, uh, air, don't freeze. Game? Oh, uh... Mmm... Uh... And I'm sure we're back now. Okay, I don't know what all that was about, but hopefully it's fixed. I end my computer crashed, I had to restart it, which meant the video file got corrupted, but I believe I, uh, fixed it. I'm 98.9% .9 sure that, uh, I managed to save the footage, which is good. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like that's not happening again. Perfect. Hmm. I'm just starting to have performance issues with this campaign, that's all. Since we're just so far along in it. Oh. There's that invasion, and there's that. So I'm thinking we need to find some way to make this campaign come to a close. Because honestly, I don't know how long it... Considering how unstable it's starting to get... I don't know, I think we're going to have to start trying to finish this campaign up fairly quickly. I mean, for, to be fair, that's running... That was running fairly quickly. Paradvin. Don't need that. Yeah, I'm just building... Ah, uh, hold on, actually. Don't need those. If... I don't think I ever need to recruit back here. If I do, it's very bad. I'm... Okay, why do does everyone hate me? Not completely sure why. Anyway, oh, we could totally besiege this now, though. I'm gonna stick you. Yes, my lord. This army will be here in a couple, in, there in two turns. I think we have to do it. We shall engage. Your orders, my lord. We'll move Theoden's army out next turn. I think we wait this army out. Honestly. Yeah, I'm, I mean... I don't know. Mixed feelings about this, to be perfectly honest. Ooh. Yep, we'll just build all that. And we'll retrain. I think I built men up here as well, I should send down. As you wish. 
March to exhaustion, continuing like yes. We'll just continue building up men, because we just need to do that. We can go no further there we go. Today. It's nice to see that we're starting to be able to retrain things. Here, over in Mordor, though. Hmm. Building this army up. Oh, uh, hold on. Never sent you then. Which means I wonder if that invasion has been called or not. Yes, it has. Of course it has. So a few things have glitched out, apparently, but... We should be back on track. Which is pretty good. I'm happy. I'm trying to think of a w way that we could wrap this campaign up quickly. I mean, I don't think I have the time in this campaign anymore to, like, uh, completely destroy Mordor, but I think, like, taking the plains of Gorgoroth, I think, would be enough to call it good enough. To, would be enough to say we won for sure. I think that's the way we have to go. Do you mean taking Baradur, uh, Which would mean taking Baradur and these three settlements here. I think that would be enough to call it good. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Have a taste of my blade. Your orders, my lord. This is a perfect army, actually, to attack here. As you come Not a lot of cab. It's a perfect besieging prepare. army. Yes. Not sure how we're gonna get rid of that Nazgul from fighting, though. Yes, my lord. There's also a pretty large army over there. Like I said, these like I didn't say this, but it won't be easy to take these lands. So that's why I'm thinking it would be a good uh, victory objective. I also need to start watching my finances. Orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. You can go there. Forces, you guys can go into here. By your command. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. We're combining forces. Orders. Yes. Merging armies, my lord. I think, yeah, I need to start watching my finances more, so I can't build those guys. Yes, my lord. We'll put you guys into Edoros. We can train one more unit. Defense of 19, defense of 17. We'll take one more unit of these guys. And this is the army that'll defend Edoros. If an invasion army ever comes. Which it might, or might not. Be really nice if Gondor could get its act together and besiege this. Really nice. It's actually slightly annoying that they haven't had it already. Good, we're returning men here too. Rohan gets stronger all the time. Thirteen oh two, one o'clock. Okay. So I've been trying to record for an hour, but haven't really succeeded. Oh, hello. What are what is this I'm seeing? You know what? You need to move that 
invasion army because you're stuck and you're going to be losing men there. Hmm. Actually, that's why I kind of want to weigh them out because there's a lot. I think that army has trolls. I'm not completely certain. But anyway, it does have Nazgul. Oh, okay. Great. I suppose. Yeah, it has trolls. Great. I want to destroy those guys, though. I mean, it makes me uncomfortable having that many men on my flank. And I guess I can't get Theoden in here anyway. So I may as well. Let's go. See you guys on the battle map. There are some things that it is better to begin than to ref refuse, even though the end may be dark. Aragorn, the Riders of Rohan. I butchered that sentence, I'm sorry. We haven't had a good battle all episode, so it's time again. One, I love Moss Mod, but one of the things I don't like it is how unstable it can be sometimes. I mean, yeah, so I'm thinking that I'm going to have to take a break from uh, Moss after this. Oh, I only have two archers? Really? Okay. Whatever. Oh. Um. Yeah, I think this will be the easiest solution. I'll just group them. Double line. Yeah, and then I'll put the archers in the middle. Horse archers. We want you over there. We'll want all four of the leaders on this flank to get them on that hill. Get them. And I guess we'll put you two on this side. Okay, let's start and pause. Oh? They started on the hill? Interesting. Okay, very well. I can adapt. We'll just group you up really quickly. Alright, so we'll group this guy so we can do that. We'll send the horse archers to over here for now. Calvary, we can, we'll put, oh, up there. And I will have everyone run. Where are they going? Where are you off to? I didn't give permission to leave. You get back here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get shot a little. That's fine. Yes, death, death.
How are we doing? I'm surprised we haven't killed their leader yet. Why haven't we done this? If we continue like this, we will Let's back out. We're in here now. They've we've broken them. That's good. Nice, nice. They are in utter disarray. Run through them like the regular Rohirrim do. Hold on, we'll back off. Oh, nice. Nice. I suppose four units of bodyguard was a little overkill, but... We're gonna go shoot them now, okay? Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Okay, so that's dealt with. Let's get the generals out again. That's a very bad spot for us with all those spearmen. Admittedly, they are orc band, but. Look at them, they're being shot on all sides. And now they're being. Yeah, they broke. Stop what you're doing. You're killing our men. Friendly fire, I don't like it. Only half the enemy force remains. Uno momento, por favor. Hopefully we have that soon. Don't charge into them. Theoden? Nice, nice, nice. For death and glory then. Yep, someone's breaking in there. And I'm not surprised. Oh, we're continuing. It's time to press the attack. Hold on, uno momento. We have enemies over here. We have not killed. That is a crime. Oh, oh they escaped. Okay. Okay, then I suppose that's acceptable. I mean, what? It's not acceptable for there to be escapees. No one escapes. The Rohirrim justice. All right. That's another Mordor army killed. Hunt them down like the pigs they are. And now they're dead. Almost. Kill him. Kill him, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'd call that acceptable losses. Of the friendship of Thorman and the power of Wolfang cannot be lightly thrown aside. Whatever grievances, real or fancied, may lie behind. I don't know about that. Hmm. That is debatable. You tried to attack your neighbors who were your allies before. You made your neighbors your enemies, you betrayed your new master. You're basically hated by everyone at that point, so, mm, yeah. Besides, your army's killed. You, you're just stuck up in a tower. If you could do anything, you would have. Take that, Saruman. Besides, you're dead in my campaign. You died.
Okay, so, yep. We have that is another Mordor army killed, which is good. Yes, my lord. I'm thinking I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. Please like and subscribe. Comments in the comment section. And I'll let you guys know the next time, like, for the next battle of, I might be doing. I might send Theoden's army around to try and deal with this. I'm debating whether I want to do that or not. Because if he gets stuck back there, well, he's stuck. This army gets destroyed if I lose. So it's I'm kind of wanting to do it at the same time. I'll decide. I may, like, just start skirmishing over here and taking out armies over here. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode, so goodbye.